Hey everyone, welcome to another Goody Reader review video. My name is Michael. My name is Peter. We're proud to proud. give you our hands-on review and analysis mm -hmm. of the HP Stream. Yes. This is a $99 Windows 8.1 tablet. Now it's Pro just, 8 yeah, it's just not RT, but you could actually, it, you get the full desktop experience. So you can install Steam, you can install SimCity, uh, you could, uh, connect up like a Bluetooth keyboard and uh, play whatever game like StarCraft that you want. Exactly. It should be able to handle it. It does have a quad core uh, processor, uh, 1.33 gigahertz. It has one gig of RAM, uh, Intel Atom, and um, it's pretty solid. I mean, the resolution could be a little bit better. It's a uh, 1280 by 800 in a seven inch, you know, display. It does have Wi-Fi. When you turn it on for the first time, you roughly have about 19 gigs of storage that you could use to install like your apps. Out of 32. Right, but yeah. it does have like um, internal storage. So you could put in like an SD yep, card and exactly. it's, um, there's a removable backing mm -hmm. on it and we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but all in all, I mean, it's it's, I like it. It's a two megapixel rear facing camera, 0 0.3 megapixel front facing camera. So you could use it to like use Skype and whatnot. Uh, you can install apps from the Windows uh, store as well as download your own apps. So the, the this tablet is amazing in the respect that it does so much with such a low price tag. It is quite a bundle for the price you pay. Um, it is not particularly amazing looking at the front. It just kind of looks like a standard tablet, but it does have a camera, HP branding, Windows logo on the bottom, power button, volume button on the left, clean on the right. Top has a 3.5 mil headphone jack along with a micro uh, USB port, HP branding on the back, Stream 7, speaker on the bottom, and there's a little place here for you to destroy it rip the backing off and this will reveal a semi user replaceable battery and an SD card slot when I mean semi you can actually pull this away from the adhesive glue uh, plug the little uh, connector and buy a new battery if you had to it's not just plug and play like a Samsung phone but uh, if it came down to it you can replace it right yeah you definitely don't want to uh, if the tablet becomes unresponsive to pull the battery out no no and there are about a million and a half clips to put back after. There we are. Okay, so, you know, being with a Goody Reader, we primarily want to take a look at uh, the overall uh, e-reading experience. How does this perform reading e-books, manga, and comic books? Um, it does a fairly good job. Mm -hmm. The speaker quality isn't too bad when you listen to music or you uh, watch videos. You can download apps from the store. This is manga here. So this is what you could expect out of the overall experience. Don't have any way to pinch and zoom really because yeah. it fits the screen. This is Z manga. So everything that they have here is for free. So there's a ton of content, Nautaro, Fable, Fairy Tale, all that type of stuff. Uh, this is the comic experience. So we have guided view on. Very nice. So the one kind of cool thing about comic books on uh, the stream here is that you could read them in landscape or portrait mm -hmm. mode. Let me see if this has what all Windows tablets have. Yes, it does. Infinite zoom. Don't you just love that? Yeah, but it's you're zooming in on like his mole. I know, but look, you can go all the way to one pixel. Uh, we first discovered this on the Microsoft Surface that when you zoom, it just keeps zooming. It's yeah. great. So stupid. So uh, yeah, I mean, guided view, 
you could read comics mm -hmm. like this. I mean, it's a big enough screen that you don't have to zoom in to read. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a good size overall. I think so as well. Because mangas are about the same size as that, and graphic novels aren't that much bigger. So this is the e-reading experience now. So this is the Amazon Kindle app. Mm -hmm. So we just have a standard book here. You can add, make highlights, make notes. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and look at the keyboard, why don't we? Make a note. Oops. I was looking at public notes. Yeah. So we're gonna do a long press on a little bit of text here. There we go. Note. So this is the keyboard. I will write my name, of course. We have secondary characters, numpad on the right, laid out as you would expect on a computer. Uh, you have different ways to download keyboards. So if you had Japanese or Chinese or Arabic or something, you can go ahead and download and install keyboards. This is being a full computer, of course, with Pro Windows. You can easily do that. And emoticons. And emoticons. Woo, emojis. And then you can highlight text. You can look at your dictionary definitions, uh, search in dictionary.com. It being a computer, once again, it's very easy to trigger things like uh, hyperlinks and going to other websites. So uh, quite convenient. So you can adjust the fonts, mm -hmm. the font size if you want to. Everything changes live mostly. Change the margins if you wanted to. And then apply settings and boom. Yeah. So some apps do it live, some need like you be able to click activate. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get all your quintessential Nook, Kobo, uh, all a bunch of like indie apps. So you could like read, uh, load in your own books and things like that. I like how this tablet isn't just RT, you know? Yeah, totally. You would figure at the price it would be. Yeah. But I think what Microsoft has done is they've pretty well done away with licensing uh, to OEMs right. for Windows. So what Microsoft found is a lot of manufacturers, when Windows 8 first came out, uh, the price was like a thousand bucks, 800 bucks. even the base model Surface Pro, no, the base model Surface was RT, but it was 399. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, with like a lot of like the, the Asus and Acer, uh, their Windows tablets, they were really expensive, like mm -hmm. 399, 499, things yeah. like that. I mean, they had higher specs, but uh, the mid, like the, the big, uh, price increase yep. was due to the fact that they had to pay, you know, uh, anywhere between sixty and ninety dollars for volume exactly. Windows licenses. But now Microsoft has uh, made it so it's like it's pretty well free now, you know, for for OEMs to use Windows to s help spur Windows adoption. And this is like proof the HP stream that you could have a fairly good seven-inch full Windows Pro tablet under a hundred dollars 99 dollars unreal huh yeah so you know of course the resolution isn't the best 1280 by 800 it's it's you know you're not getting tremendous resolution but i think that that aside if you're using this as like an e-reader it's a money you right. know what i mean like you don't need awesome resolution to like read ebooks or to read comics or to read manga you know that that sort of stuff it looks even good on 800 by 600 right. on e-readers right. you know but this is like this is better resolution than your average e-reader and i think that once you start watching hd movies you'll likely notice a bit of a difference but if you're just watching netflix streaming type stuff it'll look just as good on here as like likely it would like on your right. ipad I'd have to say this is one of the best bang for your buck tablets we've seen. $99 and you can do so much with this. You can download anything. You put a 64 gig micro SD card in this and essentially you have over 80 gigs of storage on a $99 Windows Pro tablet. It's insanity. Yeah, this is like, I think the perfect tablet to have 
in a household where you might uh, like have like uh, a more expensive yeah, yeah. device like a, an HDX uh, 8.9 or an Apple iPad Air this is like a good extension of like your PC so if you are using Windows 8 in a household and you set this up a lot of your same settings will be yeah. configured if you already have like another Windows 8 tablet or a Windows 8 phone and you're uh, installing apps from the Microsoft marketplace when you initially set this up all of your apps will actually be installed on this exactly. so you don't really have to go and reinstall your favorite apps they'll just automatically install exactly so uh, i'm a huge fan i mean i think the stream 7 is a must buy absolutely it's uh, just good to have as a secondary device kicking around honestly it's basically a hundred dollars cheaper than the kindle voyage yeah oh my god it, it's cheaper it than way. like the kobo h2o yeah it's 80 dollars cheaper than the h2o you're right and it's about twenty dollars give or take more than a kindle basic touch but this is like a full-blown like tablet when you break it down like that why wouldn't you buy this? yeah exactly <laughs> it's like this just has so much value that like i am i'm honestly shocked about yeah. how how good you know like a quad core one gig of ram i mean obviously it could all it could be better sure, you know but i mean for the price I don't really see how it could be any better. No, it's amazing. So this has been like our, our comprehensive analysis and how this is capable of an e-reader. If you have any requests, if you want to like see how video looks, comparisons, yep. how audio sounds and all that jazz, uh, drop us a line and we'll make custom videos for our loyal YouTube followers. So for Goody Reader and a review of the HP Stream 7, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.